Hey guys, this is Dana, and this is episode number 44 of the Ask a Question show, the show in which you ask a question about any type of narcissistic or otherwise abusive or toxic relationship or situation, and I, along with the rest of the community here, will do our very best to help answer it. Our goal is to give you the feedback and the support that you need so that you can move forward in getting all of the clarity, closure, and healing possible. And so today's question comes from Matt, and Matt asks, Dear Dana, I was recently involved with a female narcissist, and I'm just trying to make sense of everything. Can you please explain the differences, if any, between female and male narcissists, as well as how female narcissists go about love bombing and why on earth that they would even bring their children into the mix if they knew this wasn't going to last? Okay, fantastic questions. So, you know, manipulative people all tend to kind of operate in the same way. It's just really weird. It is. It's like there is a playbook out there that the rest of us just don't know about. Um, and so a lot of, you know, really all of the red flags that I have in the red flags of a narcissist series apply equally, very similarly to female narcissists. But there are a few differences. And those differences have more to really do with, I think, societal understandings and maybe kind of more gender roles. So kind of what do I mean by that? So for example, I think, you know, society has this idea of if a woman is difficult, it's because maybe she she gets quickly labeled as being bitchy or PMS, or um, maybe there's this idea out there that if a woman is incredibly beautiful, then she'll also be incredible, like equally crazy. So there's all these different kind of perceptions of, beha- of like bad behavior and how society views that. And, the, and a, a lot of this too is reinforced by different gender roles. So there's this idea out there where, and a lot of us women are kind of raised with this, this idea of, well, we should just be treated like a princess and that, you know, men should just somehow put up with our bad behavior. And if we're pregnant or PMSing or um, in a bad mood, that other people should just deal with that. And of course, that's really terrible, toxic thinking on our part. So, um, you know, not cool. It's like having being mean to people is never okay. Like it really is just never okay. So, But that's, that's, there's lots of different messages like that, that we're told. And so with the love bombing, so female narcissists and other types of manipulative females out there go about this in very much the same way that men do. So it's a lot of the, the constant communication, the constant compliments, it's the rushing of intimacy, sex early on, it's the future faking where they're talking about wanting to have a family with you very soon. They're, you know, having children either with them or wanting to introduce you to their children. It's this idea of kind of whatever perfect life that you want to have that they can, um, you can have that with them. And so I think a lot of men, especially with sex, you know, I think it's equal the same. Sex, male narcissists are oftentimes very um, amazing in bed. I'm sure the females are too. And I think too, a lot of times too, with with the sexual differences, it's kind of understood that, um, or maybe this is kind of a stereotype too, but a lot of guys would just love a girl who is the whole kind of, you know, devil in the bedroom, uh, angel in the kitchen kind of a woman. And so a lot of female narcissists really steer in into that. And so they are, they're just like a porn star in the bedroom is I'm guessing because that's how the men are because they're just amazing. So it's, it's, but it's not real. Right. And so that all of that kind of intensity and that just level, it's a performance. It's that level of performance in the bedroom and the performance in front of your friends and the performance of being this amazing girlfriend out in public and in, in, in the bedroom and in the kitchen and all of these ways, it's really to kind of like lure you in. Um, and then of course, once we are hooked by these people, then the mask slips, then we start to really see them for who they are and really who they are is kind of what we catch them doing when they think nobody else is looking. And so, um, yeah, it's incredibly painful. I I can imagine, especially if they are bringing their children into the mix and they're wanting you to meet them. And it's confusing because it's like, why, why would you do that? Why would you have me have this why would you do that to your kids too like have this connection with your kids I've known you two weeks you're talking about getting married and wanting this whole life and it's this whole whirlwind now I I really like your kids your kids really like me and then now you decide that you don't want any of this anymore and then like you up and leave but you're not dealing with 
you know, highly manipulative people, it's not, they're not rational. Or I should say they're not rational in the ways that we understand rational behavior to be. Because, and I think this boils down to episode 43, which I will link to that has to do with empty buckets and human needs and why we are so addicted to these people. But I think narcissists and manipulative people, they're trying to get these empty buckets filled as well. And so that's why they have all kind of the behavior that they have. And so that's why their behavior doesn't make sense. I, I, I often wonder, like, does it really even make sense to them? Or are, you know, I don't know. I don't know. And I don't even know if we asked them, I don't even know if we would get an honest answer from them. Because I think that they really are driven to do the things that they're doing. It's at such a, like a subconscious level. And they, because they feel so entitled to do whatever they're doing, I, I just don't really know how much with, like what degree of awareness that they're living their lives with. Um, and of course, yeah, there's just this trail of tears behind all manipulative people. Anybody that's known them for any length of time, like their, their friends, you know, childhood friends or parents, family, especially parents or siblings or their children tend to be the ones that really know them best. They really have uh, just the fallout that these people you know, the, the damage that's done by manipulative people to those that are closest to them is like tremendous and horrendous. So I hope that kind of answers your question. The, I think the empty buckets video that I'm going to link to will talk more about kind of how you can hopefully start moving forward from this. But you are not alone. There's so many men out there that have been dealing with female narcissists and um, it's, it's really female narcissists because of that kind of social stigma of of kind of women's roles and our understanding of what abuse looks like and who can be an abuser uh, there's a lot men really are oftentimes the silent victims of all of this and um they have a really hard time getting support so if you are a guy and you are going through this type of dynamic it's not normal it's not healthy and um, you're not alone. You're so not alone. There's lots of different support groups out there. I will link to mine down below. But like I said, there's lots of them out there. So you might even consider joining a few, finding one that's a good fit for you. And, um, you know, just just have faith that you're, you're not alone in this. So um, that's what I have for you. And I will see you guys soon. As always, any other questions, comments, concerns, frustrations, feedback, insights, ideas you need some support you just want to say hi best place to get a hold of me is in my support group and there's also many other people there as well that are just as helpful so um, as always lots of love to you guys you're not alone you are not crazy and you really can move forward and heal from this you really can so take care and i will talk to you soon okay bye <laughs>